Did a 1997 book predict many of the issues facing America today? And how could we recover? From COVID-19 to race to the political divide, America looks like it's facing challenges we've never seen before. But what if this kind of crisis actually has hit before? And how did we recover then? Well, I read a book way back in the 90s that predicted exactly the troubles we're seeing today. It was called The First Turning. And authors William Strauss and Neil Howe said this, and I quote, Around the year 2005, a sudden spark will catalyze a crisis move. Remnants of the old social order will disintegrate. Political and economic trust will implode. Real hardship will beset the land with severe distress that could involve questions of class, race, nation, and empire. Yet, this time of trouble will bring seeds of social rebirth. Americans will share a regret about recent mistakes and a resolute new consensus about what to do. These ideas were fascinating to me then and still are now. But even more, I find them very encouraging in the face of these troubled times. Strauss and Howe mapped out how the attitudes and moods of each generation follow patterns that drive a longer cycle. That cycle includes crisis, rising, unraveling, and a new crisis. It repeats like the seasons. The timing is not always the same, but the turnings always come in order. And the cycle looks like this. First, there is a crisis that forces society to come together to overcome it. Out of that crisis comes the first turning, when people pull together, they have faith in each other and institutions like the government, and things are pretty harmonious. It's an era of good feelings and conformity. This is a time when institutions are created and communal advances tend to be made, but individualism suffers and inequality is ignored. In the second turning, there is an awakening. People get tired of conformity and begin to reassert their personal freedoms. They begin focusing on themselves and younger generation become rebellious. In the third turning, the old order begins to unravel. Personal freedom expands, but so does a focus on personal gain over communal well-being. People stop trusting authority figures and institutions. Now, that unraveling becomes the next crisis, which is called the fourth turning in the book. Distrust in institutions leads people to stop supporting the government and other pillars of stability. The sentiments like nationalism and racism rise, and borders go up. The central authority has lost a lot of its power and can't regain control under the current system. Then, the existing social structure falls, and America comes to a turning point. The people must come together to form a new power structure and emerge into a new first turning. Now, that may sound too simple, but Strauss and Howe sure look like they predicted the issues we're facing today. What they teach us is that every time we face a crisis like this, America comes together to find a way to fix it, and our country soon rises again. What's more, according to Strauss and Howe, we are deep into this fourth turning and can hope to pass it in the next few years. What comes after a crisis is usually a new golden age. Times like these led to the founding of America, the Industrial Revolution, and the great prosperity of the 1950s. Tomorrow's prosperity will look different, but I know it's coming, and I can't wait to meet you there. So, don't let today's trouble impair your vision for tomorrow, because a better day will come. This is the time to lay your groundwork to pivot to a better tomorrow.